Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind a bobbin for the Singer Stitch Quick Plus machine. I will show you bottom bobbin placement and catching the bobbin thread. First, we're going to cover winding the bobbin. When winding a bobbin, make sure the device is in the lock off position before starting. Always remove the bobbin from the bobbin case on the machine and unthread the needle when winding a new bobbin. Make sure to only use class 15 metal bobbins in this machine. For this section, you will need a bobbin pin and an empty bobbin. Put the bobbin pin into the hole. It has a D shape that matches up with the hole. Make sure you turn the pin until they snap together. Push the bobbin pin in place. To wind a bobbin, take the end of your thread and slide it through thread guide number one. Next, slide it through the thread guide number five on top of the machine. Avoid tangling it around the tension wheel. Next, take the bobbin and slide the thread end inside the bobbin and out through one of the holes. Position the bobbin on top of the bobbin pin and push into place. Make sure you have a three to four inch tail of thread sticking out of the top of the bobbin. Turn the machine on by pushing the lever to the handheld mode. Depress the lever and wind the thread around the bobbin three to four times. Once you have started the bobbin, go ahead and trim away the thread tail on top. Now to press the button and wind the bobbin to the desired fullness. Once you have finished winding the bobbin to the desired length, pull the bobbin off of the bobbin pin and trim the bobbin thread three to four inches from the bobbin. Once you are done winding a bobbin, you can go ahead and remove your spool of thread if you're not using it for the top sewing, making sure to not lose the spring, and then reposition your top thread into the hole. Make sure to return the large spool pin and bobbin pin to the hand compartment so that you have easy access to them next time you're ready to sew. Once you have finished winding your bobbin, it's time to put it back into the machine. Turn the machine to the front. There are two pictures outside the bobbin case. The first one shows you the incorrect way to put the bobbin in the case. The second one shows you the correct way to position the bobbin in the case. You want the thread to feed off of the bobbin in a clockwise manner. A trick for this is if you have the tail of the thread to the left, have it in the front of the bobbin. This will guarantee it turns the correct way. If you were to have the tail in the back going off to the left, it will turn it in the counterclockwise. So that's just a tip to insert your bobbin. Once you have the bobbin in the right position, slide it into the bobbin case. To catch the bobbin thread, pull the bobbin tail to the front of the machine. Hand crank the top thread down until it catches the thread and pulls it up. It'll come up in a loop. Use a straight pin if you can't reach in there to pull out the loop yourself. This will pull the bobbin thread to the top of the machine. Take both tails and pull them to the back of the machine. You can now replace the cap on the bobbin cover. Now that we've covered how to wind a bobbin, bottom bobbin placement, and catching the bobbin thread, let's go over some of the things you can double check if after doing all of this, the machine does not sew correctly. First, make sure that the bottom bobbin is placed correctly in the bobbin case, setting flush and running clockwise off of the bobbin. If not, remove the bobbin, reposition it correctly, and then catch the bobbin thread up through the top. Make sure that the upper thread is going in the counterclockwise coming off of the spool and or bobbin. If not, take the bobbin or spool of thread off of there, reposition it so it is coming off the spool or bobbin in the counterclockwise manner. And make sure if the machine is not sewing correctly that the thread is going through these tension guides. We will also go over adjusting tension in the next video. And that's it for this video. In video three, we're going to cover how to change a needle, changing the upper thread to use the longer spool pin, threading the machine, and adjusting the tension. 